guys welcome back to my channel so today i got my boxy charm to share with you guys you guys will have to ignore the ac going off in the back as usual and my hair as usual i don't know what's going on it's not even like a bad hair day it's like a bad hair decade so i don't know what it is though i feel like it's this product that i use this hair product that i got in my ipsy bag i don't know if it's that that made my hair so like greasy looking but i don't know if you guys haven't seen my ipsy bag video yet i will link that down below so you guys can go check it out and while you're checking out that video you might as well subscribe to my channel subscribing is 100 percent free just letting you know anyways let's just jump straight into the box so this is the box for this month this one's theme is wildflower so that's pretty cool um the first item i see this is bright green package oh this is so cool i get so excited when i get brushes this brush trio is actually the ojitos brush set from alamar cosmetics all these feel very soft i have like a special love for crease brushes i don't know what it is i think crease brushes are like my favorite type of brush i don't even know if that's like a thing but yeah feels very nice we will test these out in a little bit the next item has to be this guy this is the nightingale eyeshadow palette by pretty vulgar oh it comes with a mirror and wow it's a very cool toned okay let's do a few swatches these are the swatches and they don't look so bad i don't know i really like this shade this is really pretty i think it's called clutch very very pretty it's like a rose gold as always i will try to use as many shadows from this palette as i can um and i will point and let you know which ones i use as usual so let's get started Okay, so I did get to try out all three brushes and I used, let's see, I actually ended up using every single one of these shadows, which is crazy. I used more of the blue gray tones on my bottom lashes and more of the brownie tones on my lids. And I actually really like these shadows. They're blendable, they're creamy. This one in Break Free, it is very glittery, so um, it does have like a lot of glitter fallout, but other than that, I really really liked this eyeshadow palette And I don't really have many cool tone eyeshadow palettes, so I'm like super excited about this and These brushes were amazing as well um, The crease brush it's a little bit more flimsy than I like it to be but it's still really good This brush is actually perfect for cut crease um, I could totally see myself using it for that and this is of course perfect for your bottom lash line and i think also to fill in your brows i, I want to try it out for my brows as well but yeah really good so i did see this guy in here and i'm assuming this is an eyeliner um this is the stroke of wow roll on precision liner by butter london roll on what the heck? It's like a liquid liner. What is this? 
It's a little circle. What the crap? Oh, wow. Okay. That is a very straight line. Hmm. That's pretty awesome. But can you create a wing with this, I wonder? Wish me luck. Uh, this was interesting. Not sure if I liked it. Uh, it. It did turn out better than I expected it to, but that's because I used makeup remover to kind of clean up the edges. But I don't know, I feel like this is way harder than, you know, eyeliner is tough enough. Why make it harder? You know what I mean? This is kind of useless to me, at least. I don't know. Maybe after practice, this will get easier, but I don't see myself reaching for this, like at all. So I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give it a few more tries, but it just seems so pointless. I'd rather have like a felt tip liner or even like a liquid liner versus this. So this was a bit of a disappointment, not gonna lie. I'm gonna add some mascara to help this situation out. <laughs> Mm. Hopefully the next two items will make up for this. All right, so I'm gonna go for this guy. This is by Laura Geller, and it is their Baked Blush and Brighten, and it's in the shade Tropic Hues. Awesome. This is the shade. That's really pretty though. Ooh, okay. There's still hope for this box. Let's see. This is really pretty. It, it kind of has like a luminosity to it, which I really like. It kind of reminds me of those Milani baked blushes. It has that same luminosity, which I really, really like. So this was not a fail. Really thankful to have this in the box. And the last item in the box is this guy. And this is by Hank and & Henry, and it is their Lip Aesthetic Matte Liquid Lipstick in Petal Pusher. I don't know how well this is gonna go with the eye look, but we'll try it out. Oh, it does not smell good. It smells like some kind of food that's gone bad, I don't know what it is exactly, like like yogurt that's gone bad. Yeah, I don't really like the scent at all, but this is the color. It's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It is brighter than what I'm used to, but I kind of like it. It's more of like a springtime-y lipstick, in my opinion. <laughs> but um, I really like the packaging on this. I hate the smell. I don't know if I just got a bad one, but mine really stinks, like it really smells bad. But I can't smell it anymore, so I guess it goes away once you put it on. It's still not dried down yet, so we'll wait a few minutes and then we'll do the kiss test. All right, so let's do the kiss test. Okay, so it's not transfer proof. I don't know if it's still drying down, but it's, it doesn't feel transfer proof to me and it doesn't claim to be, I don't think. Let me see. Well, it claims to never transfer, but I don't know. <laughs> um, it did transfer on me, but it, again, it could just be that it hasn't fully dried down yet. Um, I only gave it like five minutes, but, but I do like the color. I think the more it dries down, the darker it gets, which I like, but this was, this was all right. I mean, the color's pretty. The applicator was like big and fat, so it made it pretty easy to apply. I really liked everything about it except the scent. The scent is like kind of putting me off because I didn't expect it to smell this bad, you know? I'm used to certain makeup 
scents that aren't so pleasant, but this, it literally smells like, ugh, it smells so gross. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a bad one. So those were all the items in the box this month. My favorite items have definitely got to be this makeup palette of course i get really excited for eyeshadow palettes i also really liked the brushes i love getting brushes I get really excited about that too and this blush it's a very very pretty brush brush it's a very very pretty blush this this is like an honorable mention again if it wasn't for the scent i would have really liked this but yeah Alright guys, so that's it for this BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!